All right, just thought I'd put a little video together. It's a little bit showing off and a little bit about um, showing you how to take a quick scalp on a uh, measured move on a breakout. And this is actually a pretty simple one to follow. Uh, it's not too long, so bear with me. We'll uh, get it rolling real quick. Well, it looks like our diamond might have escalated range a little bit, so we could. Could be setting up a measured move case here. It's starting to trend on the 10 second chart. Key resistance is going to be right here at about 41.52. If that breaks, we get a measured move out of this. I might just grab that. I'll wait and see. It's got the makings of a bullish measured move if it gets uh if it gets going here. From the break, that would take us straight to 4160 and a little bit beyond. Cool. Looks like I got back to this chart time just in time. <laughs> Let's see if it rips. Got another key resistance point right up ahead, about I'll either ride the trend or I'll snap a piece of it at a time. <clears throat> that is a huge range for a measured move. Look at this. 41.32, 41.50. Well, 41.52 respectively. $20 range from the break. Uh, let's call out a midline break. So I could even extend to 4170. I'll throw a limit order up there. And then just ride the trend until it ends and hit that uh, exit button. Might get a good trade out of this, uh, out of today after all. <clears throat> Looking good, we got through that 4155 zone. Keep on chugging. As long as we hold that eight period, I'm pretty confident in it. Snap the eight period, I'll probably break it off. That's just this guy on the 10 second chart. Realistically, you could come down and approach the 20 period and still be okay, but you only get a couple of attempts on a 20 period before it just snaps over and rips your face off. <clears throat> Typically. And there is another key resistance at that 4160 mark. Just about there. Blasting through that. Careful though, sometimes you get a tweezer out of that. Sometimes it pays to be picky. Okay, 4160 is now support. Give or take a tick or two. Test of the eight period, just better hold. And 
think we might pull back here and drop that off. Not a bad little gig, 4250. Notice how I both entered on the eight period with a limit order and then exited with just a um, exit at market and cancel all order right on that um, hammer as it touched the uh, eight period. This continued to break over and consolidate in this area. End of trade, really quick scalp, really easy. I mean, that was uh, what, all of about um, five minutes? Less than that, about four, four and a half minutes. Really quick, easy trade. Just lining up all the different time frames I had working with me and consolidated data and uh, everything looked good. Took the trade, made some money. Um, hopefully, you know, a few of our members made some money on it as well. And that's how we roll. All right, guys, have a good one.